Hey guys, and welcome back to Google Guru. Today I'm going to focus on one of my favorite time-saving tools in Google Docs, and that's keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts allow you to perform many of the functions that you use every day in Google Docs while always using your keyboard instead of your mouse. For example, I'm working on a Google Doc right now, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Drive and then open up my document. So a lot of you are probably familiar with some of the more basic keyboard shortcuts like the cut, copy, and paste functions. For example, if I select the text, press Control X will cut the text. Then if I press Control V, it'll paste the text. There's also a few keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time that happen to save me plenty of time throughout the day. For example, I can undo and redo by pressing Control Z and Control Y. I can also copy and paste formatting with Control Alt C and Control Alt V, and I can clear formatting altogether by using control backslash. Another great tool is the keyboard shortcuts for headers. For example, if you're working on a table of contents, keyboard shortcuts allows you to create a much more manageable table of contents. So for example, this will be my first header, so I will use the keyboard shortcut control alt one, and then this will be my second header, so I'll use the keyboard shortcut control alt two and so on until the third header, which would be control alt 3 And if I scroll to the top here and I insert table of contents, it will already be created with the designated order I have because of this header format. A couple other useful keyboard shortcuts are the insert link. So I'll go ahead and select the text, control K. We'll bring up this screen and I can insert a URL for this link. So I want to add the video from Google Guru to this text. So I'll go over here, copy the URL, go back to my document, and paste it in there, creating a hyperlink. You can also search your document by pressing Control F and then typing in your text, and then it will bring up your search term highlighted in yellow. And finally, the last one I have for you right now is word count, which is helpful if you're on a word limit. So if you press Control Shift C, it'll bring up the various statistics about your document, the pages, words, characters, with and without spaces. So that's all I have for you right now for keyboard shortcuts. I hope this was a helpful video and hopefully it'll save you some time. Let me know in the comment section below the video which ones are your favorite and how you are saving time with keyboard shortcuts.